Good afternoon, if you can hear us, and we are live, looks like we are live, wonderful. If you are here and viewing and joining us, drop a comment so we know you're here, and also let us know where you are viewing from today. There we go, we got people logging in. Hi, Doreen or Doran, Doreen or Doran. Hi, Don. there we go, Denise, so if you are logging in, just leave a comment. Let us know where you're watching from. We are going to be live in a prop. Well, we are live, but we will have everybody joining in in approximately three minutes. I just want to make sure that you can hear and see me. <laughs> there I am. There we go. All right. Drop us a comment. Everything, <laughs> drop us a comment, the word comment. <laughs> Good afternoon, there we go. Hi in San Francisco. I hope your weather is slightly better than what we have in San Diego. Hello, Joyce in Orange County. I'm in San Diego County, that's lovely. I am um, Tracy Weinzaffel, and today on our Jelly Telly, so we do this the usually the third Wednesday of the month, and we have um, actually our uh, the co-founder Luann will be joining us, and then also our social media uh, I want to say guru on this because she is amazing. Madison is going to join us, and then about half past the hour we're going to have um, the lovely Tanya, who is one of our brand ambassadors. She will be on, and we're going to be speaking with her. So of course course this is interactive this is live if you see the red live up in the corner then we're live if you don't see that then you're re-watching this and we had recorded it so um, I wanted to just make note too of our lovely designers who are joining in I see Lou Sims who is absolutely amazing on Hochanda and Lou please correct me because I know they have changed the name I'm just slow to the game. Hello in the UK. Hello Frederica in Sweden. Hello Marty. Look at this. Hello in France. Oh, these are all the, oh, uh, hi from Ireland. Emma, I was just saying that Ireland is on my bucket list. Mansi is one of our artists as well. So Mansi, please stand up in your living room so we can see you. I'm kidding. <laughs> And just so you all know, we are going to continue this series with our designers. We have spoken to Birgit and Marsha, uh, and Tanya is today, which is exciting, and we're going to keep carrying on. I believe Mansi is next, I want to say. Okay, thank you, Lou Sims, for correcting me. If you're in the UK, uh, please, it's the Craft Store. I know, I know they had changed their name. Okay. I haven't even showered. Oh, Mansi is not going to stand up from her living room due to the fact she has not showered. Mansi, we will always give you a heads up. <laughs> okay, we do have lots of people from the UK and Norway and Finland and Belgium, uh, south of England. Oh, this is amazing. Arizona, Georgia. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, by the way, Jelly Telly came from um, you guys requesting and asking us questions. So this is interactive. I am Tracy Weinzaffel. I am the artist coordinator for Jelly Arts. I get the pleasure of working with our amazing artists. And um, I'm going to introduce you to our co-founder, which you probably already know. I'm bringing Luann in. And Luann, I am unmuting you. Let's make sure we can hear you. Hi, everybody. There we go. Oh, you're getting lots of Bollinger. <laughs> I love this. Hello, Scotland. Hello. So Luann is our co-founder, and usually in the beginning of Jelly Telly, we like to talk about what is currently going on in the office, what we're featuring, maybe what's new. So Luann, take it away. Okay. Well, all that I can say is it's so nice to have you all here. 
And Tracy, I love to hear where everybody is from. And I can't wait to go visit most of those places in the coming years. I feel, so we're here in Philadelphia and I'm happy to be in Philly, but it, it's very nice. And I miss traveling and visiting with all of you. Um, so hello and thank you for joining with us today. So I'll start by saying what's new here at Jelly. And, and then I'm going to show you some fun things that I did because I personally am always so inspired by our artists. So we'll get to that in a minute. But first of all, we have a couple new things that maybe you've already heard about, but they're, they're new for us still. And one is our new spring kit. So it's springtime and we are thinking about all of our gardens and our flowers and just nature. And so we were so excited for spring to arrive that we put together a little kit and we ordered some stencils. And so each little kit has a plate, a roller, some stencils. So we have assorted stencils, Stacy or Tracy, oh my gosh. Tracy <laughs> just held up some beautiful little stencils. And so they're each kit has a couple stencils in it. So we're really excited by this little kit. And I am going to show you a few things that I made this morning with this little kit. And really, it's because I'm so jealous. I'm watching everything that all of you wonderful artists are doing. And thank you for sharing all of that with us. And we love to see what you're doing every day. But it inspires me to try. And I have never been an artist, but with my little jelly plate, I feel like I, I can create some fun things. So I have to show you, because I'm very proud of what I made. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> so this morning I made some cards with the kit. So come on, look at how adorable. I'm just gonna show you a few. Well, maybe I'll show you all of them because I am so proud of them. So I don't know, you probably can't see the glitter, yes, but I actually pretty. used some metallic paints look at that pretty color combination i'm learning i'm learning about colors and come and combining them to make them make it so attractive oh look you're getting pretty. lots of you're oh, getting goodness. lots of beautiful woohoo luann you're getting lots of that <laughs> okay so thank you thank you i appreciate that um but seriously i'm inspired by all of you and what you're doing so there are my cards, but I want to show you what I also did with the spring kit because I some nights I stay here when everybody's gone and I print because that's about the only time that I have to print. So the other Ooh. night I was printing with one of the stencils and I honestly, I was so impressed with myself. So I took it home. <laughs> I made Please. a bunch of, I used this one stencil. You can't, it's hard to see but you get the idea. So I made a bunch of prints and then I took them home and I just painted my little powder room. And so I held them all up and I said, oh, I think these two look the best. So I framed them and so I can't wait to hang them up. So I did that. And so let me just say that this is because I now feel like I can do it because I've watched so many videos, these wonderful videos that you're all doing. And I honestly, I just wish I had half a day every day. To so Luann, you raised something that is so funny because I, I think a lot of people sometimes envision as the owner of the company, you go home and yeah. you sleep in a bed of jelly plates and yeah. you just have an abundance of time and you, the truth of the matter is that creative time is kind of sparse for you. So it is important to be able to create like that. <laughs> oh, it is. And Ma Mancy just said... Well, Mancy well, just said we need to add you to the design team, Luann. <laughs> <laughs> oh, someday, someday I will be good enough to do it. Um, I, I, I hope that's true. But really what I started doing, which I love, because I do feel like I'm a maker, but I'm more of a sewer. And so I find pretty fabrics oh. and I make cute things. So I made this little spring pillow for one of my chairs, and then I made a table runner to match. And then I love to quilt, so I made myself a little bag for shopping. Oh my God, that is so cute. Yeah. So I too like 
to make, but I don't have a lot of time. Well, and, and you're getting lots of love. You're getting lots of love. Um, I would love to know, you're getting lots of love on the framed items. Because I think people sometimes overcomplicate things. But something so simple that you just showed, how long yeah. do you think that took you to make, those two frames? Oh, God, not long at all. I mean, I made probably eight prints one night. I stayed maybe a half an hour after work. I made eight prints, I took them home, and then I had to see which one I thought matched the little powder room the best. And then I went to Michael's and I bought these inexpensive frames. And look at how nice they are. I mean, yeah. they're very nice. They're thick, you can see, I don't know if you can see, but they're sturdy. And you know, how cute you hang two of them together. So honestly, I put them both in a frame. It took me maybe 10 minutes, think right? That, it doesn't that, take ooh, I don't have a lot of time. This did not take a lot of time. I think that's just important to know because I think a lot of times people think, like when I do a creative session, by the way, we now have Bergen who has joined us. When I do something creatively with Jelly Arts, I mm -hmm. probably legit under an hour will make um, enough content or prints to make an album, pieces of art, hanging up, collage yeah. pieces. So a lot happens yeah. in under an hour. Well, all the cards I just showed you, I probably made them in less than an hour this morning. And there were several that I didn't show you. <laughs> but, I mean, this is a lot of cards, right? Yes. It's really nice. I'm going to put a ribbon around them, and that will be part of my Mother's Day gift. Because my mother would love them. Um, so, how much is the kit? Can they order it? Uh, when can they order it? When will it ship? Uh, those are those well, big questions. Um, so that's a good, that's easy. It, they're available now. We've made a bunch of them. And you can place your order now, and we'll ship it maybe this afternoon, but probably tomorrow as awesome. the orders come in. So we ship very quickly. It's part of our goal and our mission here is that when somebody orders something, I know what it feels like when I order something. I want it, right? Because I'm, I'm inspired. So we try to get things out that day. Oh, I love it. And you're getting um, lots of wonderful comments. Somebody just said, I did buy the kit. And then Claudia said, Jelly jelly Arts, they're so easy to produce in a short amount of time. So, okay, mm -hmm. here's her problem. Claudia, I love this. However, it is hard to stop making prints. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. I love that. I love to hear that. I'm the same way. Sometimes I set a timer because I'm like, okay, I've got other things that I need to do. Um, okay, so on that note, um, oh, wait, uh, I will answer this question, Carol. Is there a jelly plate in that kit? Yes. Is it the 5x5, five five, Luann? Yes. yes. It is the 5x5 five yes. five plate, which I have in my hand. Great question. Thank you for that. So um, here is kind of another behind the scenes that we're going to give you. And I'm going to unmute our lovely Madison. And I'm going to add her into the mix. Hi, Hi. Madison. Hi. So, so for you all who do not know, behind the scenes, the one who is scheduling things, um, she's answering your questions when we're live. She jumped in, I want to say, a few months ago and didn't just jump in with her toes first. She dove right in with us and has been an amazing asset. So uh, I'm going to ask Madison a couple of questions after she introduces herself. If you have any questions for Madison, who is our social media coordinator, if you're looking to be noticed, you want your artwork, you want us to see what you're doing, um, Madison will give you those clues and hints because how Luann has built this business has been through your art and other people's arts and our designers' arts, who she features all the time. So Madison, take it away. Tell us a little bit about you. Yes, yeah, so um, you are right. I started a couple months ago. I started back in October. 
Um, and I do, I love seeing everyone's artwork. Um, really with Jelly Arts, it's a huge group effort of everyone's art that participates, that tags us. Um, I love seeing everyone's artwork. You can do hashtag Jelly Arts, you can do at Jelly Arts. Um, I try to repost as much artwork as I see. Um, I love sharing and interacting with all of the artists. Um, it's one of the most fun parts of the job. And I am going to brag a little bit um, about Madison. I think she's understating what she does. And she didn't even give us her background. But she does have a background in social media. And Luann and I, every week we have a phone call. And we go over the growth of social media and what people want to see. So that's something else, Madison, maybe you can touch on. I know you're always asking questions or maybe looking for content. Um where are you finding things? That's what, you know, I would like to know personally. Yeah, of course. So, yes, I do have a background in social media. Um, I went to school for marketing, particularly digital and social media marketing. Um, so it's been really fun getting my start at Jelly Arts, um, especially as a company that has such a broad reach. Um, it's really fun working with people all over the world. Um, it makes for a really unique experience. Um, where I get most of the artwork and where I see a lot of the artwork that I share is um, through those hashtags I mentioned, through people tagging the accounts. Um, our artist team obviously does an amazing job of contributing. Um, last month, we just did the March challenge that had a lot of people participating. Um, so that was a fun kind of targeted hashtag that got a lot of people um, kind of interested in gel printing, inspired to get gel printing. Um, that was really fun, um, and it grew our audience a lot. We're actually getting ready to celebrate. We're at almost 50,000 followers on Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. So I just want to say, I also had a degree in marketing, but it was many years ago. <laughs> and it was pre-social media, basically. And so it is so fun to have somebody who actually went to school to understand social media because she has taught us so much. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it. And mm -hmm. she's doing what an amazing job. Yes. Yeah. Luann, I don't want to say anything, but when I was in college <laughs> and we, Luann and I are both from Michigan, um, we didn't actually physically have the internet <laughs> to turn in our homework. <laughs> We would have to use a typewriter. I will admit it. And I had to use a typewriter to turn in my paper <laughs> and physically walk to the building. <laughs> I know. I know. So Madison, can you tell us all of the platforms in which you are kind of overseeing, watching, and doing? Because I know we have since um, added TikTok. Yeah, so I am, um, we focus a lot on Facebook. Um, I'm the one behind the scenes during all the lives, interacting with everybody on their comments, um, answering messages, sharing art. Um, and then we also have Instagram, of course, Pinterest. Um, we do some updates on Twitter as well. And then we also just joined TikTok. So that's the big new one. And YouTube, of course. YouTube is yeah. so big for all of the uh, full-length tutorials. Um, but TikTok has been fun because it's kind of small bites of tutorials. Um, it's fun to get creative. I actually made a TikTok when we first joined. Um, I know Luann was sharing her little spring project, so she asked me to share some <laughs> stuff that I've made as well. <laughs> I am also somewhat artistic. I have a art background in that I was in like advanced art all through um, elementary and high school. Um, I took a couple classes in college, so this is also really fun to be doing social media for art because it's also something I really love. So um, I have gotten a little creative. I made these jeans, actually. We'll see if you guys can. They have little smiley faces on Yay! them. Um, they're a little hard to see here, but I'll put them up for you. Oh, are yeah, those really cute? cute? And I do have a <laughs> lot of these. Yeah, I love, I love these. them. <laughs> they came out really good. Yeah. <laughs> uh yeah, and I'll link that so tell us so how everybody you... can see them. Yeah, yeah. Okay, 
So, um, but, oh, and I don't know if you mentioned we are also doing Instagram Reels. <laughs> and I, Pinterest too. Did you say Pinterest? Yes. I mean, it is amazing. You are getting, Madison, you're getting tons of kudos too um, for the work you did with the March Challenge. Realize mm -hmm. when you work with a bunch of creatives, um, I remember this long ago, when you work with a bunch of creatives, this is a bunch of people with a lot of ideas in their head and they float around. And then logistically you start talking dates and challenges and we need this by this. And as an artist, this is me. Oh, sure, I'll get that to you at midnight <laughs> or 12.01. <laughs> but um, a lot of people are saying that March challenge was amazing to work with you on. And I agree 100%. Yes, oh, that is so nice of them. I had, I mean, I love working with our artist team too. They they make my job so easy. <laughs> yes, I would well, agree. Tracy, let's talk about. She's now doing the event calendar for us. Yes. So, thank. I mean, that's on our Jelly Arts blog. But if you go to the Jelly Arts blog, we now have a, a control button at the top that says events, and Madison is also doing a calendar for us. So if you're looking for the next Facebook Live or the next Michael Zoom class, we're trying to stay organized to help you find <laughs> us. And so you can go sure. to the event tab on our blog, which is great. Apps. Yeah, I'll actually, I'll link to that too for everybody to see. Um, that is something that I do try to keep super updated. It has, um, like Luann said, all of our Facebook Lives. Um, all of our jelly tellies, um, our Michael Zoom classes that we've been doing are also listed on there. Um, you mm -hmm. can keep track of which artists' blog posts are coming up. Um, I do share um, the artists' um, blog post dates. So the events calendar is a really good spot to go for pretty much all of the future information for stuff. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. You're getting lots of compliments. Um, the events calendar is super. Events tab, I love it. Yeah, I... I I need to do that myself. It's it is really handy. <laughs> when we um you know, uh I'm I will say Tanya has joined in. We'll bring her in in a minute. Um when uh Madison had started, that was when really um we had so much going on online and I remember the day Luann said, "We just have so much going on. We need a calendar to put it in one spot." So that has been instrumental for all of us. And we are planning ahead. We have, um, I want to say, a mini challenge or a mini, like, one-week challenge in May. Mm -hmm. So I can, yes. Um, mm -hmm. And then I want to say we're doing another month-long challenge when? September? In July. Oh, July. July. <laughs> July, yep. <laughs> By the way, I'm the one who does keep the Google Calendar, and I don't know. <laughs> yes. So um, we bring everybody in to participate um, in those challenges with us. Okay, Madison, in closing, would you like to say anything? We'll send you back into the behind-the-scenes land to answer questions. <laughs> yeah, um, I saw there were just a couple questions on the events calendar, just to answer really quick. Um, some people are asking what time zone it's in. Oh. Um, we are here in Philadelphia, so it's usually entered in Eastern time. I believe you can update it to your time zone um, once you're logged into WordPress, if you have an account. Um, if not, when you're viewing it, it should just stay in Eastern time. And I believe that that's it. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for having me on. This was really fun. Um, thank you, everybody, for the kind comments on the jeans. Don't forget to check out the little tutorial that I made. I linked it in the comments. And all right, I'll clear the way for Tanya to come in. Thank yeah. you so much, Madison. Bye. 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 Oh, my God. So just so you all know. Um, uh, Tanya had a slight delay yesterday and as always we readjust and it was, we were brainstorming and then we said, well, Madison, why don't you jump in? So it's always nice to meet the people behind the words. Um, and she didn't even mention too, um, we work together on the blog and so we have a new blog post every Thursday and the newsletter. So if you don't have our newsletter, maybe Madison can right. give the link out to that. I think we, I think we, we really did well there, Luann. <laughs>
We good. We good. Okay, Tracy. So now it's your turn. You should show us what you're doing this spring. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, uh, real quick, I will do that. Thank you, Luann. That is nice. I didn't wasn't prepared. Actually, all has been sitting back here. But um, for spring, I'm teaching a class on painting garden hats. It'll be the second time I've painted it. Who doesn't want a pretty garden hat? <laughs> and then um, I also twice a year paint spring. And um, I do it at Christmas and at Mother's Day where I hand paint wine glasses um in all different floral i love flowers and then yeah. i have a card class coming up and actually um i'll be using some jelly uh stuff uh with another uh valley stamp and scrap so i have a class there and then i have a mixed media challenge in may which is all flowers uh just to give you a little heads up my birthday is in may i absolutely love spring and pretty much everything I paint has flowers uh, because that's who and what I seem to be about. So I actually requested the stencils <laughs> so that I could have them on hand. I'm going to probably. I'm so glad you did. I am we'd going, love you too. I'm actually going to be live tonight on my Facebook page and I'm going to use a couple of these in my mixed media and it's a free demo. So that's all I have going on um, at the moment. And I'm turning 51. So <laughs> that's it. Hello. Okay. So, so young. You're so young. <laughs> well, I'm actually turning 50 again because I couldn't have my 50th oh. birthday in COVID. So. Okay. All right. Okay. Like that. That's a good plan. So I'm very excited about this because we have um, – I'm going to introduce her without her face there, without her to like say anything. But Tanya is one of our brand ambassadors. And if you are not following her on Instagram or Facebook, she'll give all that out. Um, literally, if you need like a quick inspiration or pick me up piece, her reels, her um, mm -hmm. Instagram posts are so motivational and share so yeah. much in these small s snippets. So without further ado, I'm going to bring Tanya in from the UK. There she is. Hello. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Hi, Tanya. So Tanya, um, first off, thank you so much. Time-wise, we're able to do this, and you're getting lots of shout-outs. So I love this. I absolutely um. love this. Um, Tanya, tell us who and what you're about. How did you come into contact with um, Jelly Arts? We want to hear it all. Yeah. Well, uh, hi, everyone. It's such an honor to be here joining you all. I see so many of my friends on here, uh, my fellow brand ambassadors, and some of who are really, really good friends. I just want to start off by saying how much of an honor and privilege it is to be a part of this team of such uplifting individuals and such, I just have no words of how, I need to pinch myself sometimes <laughs> when I tell people that I'm on the Jelly Arts design team. It's because for me, Jelly Arts is like way up there and to be called a part of the team is like, it's unbelievable. Um, and how did I first hear about the company? Uh, well, it was obviously through Marsha and Birgit. And uh, Marsha and Birgit are longtime friends. I have known them for years, for a really long time. And uh, they had just started doing the videos for jelly arts and I used to look at them on YouTube and I used to be so inspired thinking I'd love to be able to do that someday and um, uh, and then at that time I think I believe it was 20 March 2018 that jelly arts did a design team call and I immediately messaged Marsha and Birgit saying do you think I should apply <laughs> do you think I'm good enough I remember this <laughs> And uh, and I at that time, we're so Birgit happy had, she did. Uh, was doing her very first 
she was doing her very first uh, gel printing challenge and I had uh, just started making videos at that time. And uh, so I just uh, took a risk and applied and uh, and the rest, as they say, is history. And here I am doing a live stream <laughs> with you guys. <laughs> we feel the same. Um, and Tanya, real quick, because people are asking about your Instagram. What is your, what is handle? What is your name on Instagram? <laughs> So my uh, it's it's my name, which is Tanya Ahmed, and so that's T A N I A, uh, and Ahmed that's A H M E D, and uh, if you can't tell by my funny accent, <laughs> I'm here in the UK, and I'm originally from Pakistan, so you get a bit of a twang of the American and Pakistani and British, so I hope <laughs> I'm making sense when I'm talking. It is. And you know what? I do have to say, uh, right, I think when you had applied for the design team, I started following everybody. And I I see um, all, well, all of the team stories every day. But I particularly, you just have a thing about making reels and at videos oh, that make it seamless and easy to follow. Yes. And I, I and want it's so inspiring. I mean, I, everyone I see, I say to myself, oh, I want to go do that right now. But of course, I don't. But I do. They, they make me want to go do it right away. There's something so inviting about them. They're, they're really terrific. Now, if anybody oh, has really questions for it. Tanya, first off, everybody's saying, hi, Tanya, love your work. And you are getting your Instagram shared. Tanya, uh, I always ask the artists who are on our team, do you have a go-to favorite plate? Like this is what you're going to pick up or you can't play favorites, but we would, we want to ask you anyway. <laughs> Ooh, that's a difficult one. That's like picking your favorite child. Um, <laughs> uh, um, when I want to test something, I go for the five by seven, but, uh, uh the my friends know that the minis are my babies the minis are my favorites because um to me they remind me of uh block prints mm -hmm. and uh so when you're holding them you can get these really cool carry cases for the minis as well which are available on the website and when you hold them it's just such a tactile feel and it feels mm -hmm. like block printing. It's such a satisfying process. Yes, the ones that Tracy's holding up right now. So you can mm -hmm. buy these uh, cases. So you've got the minis, they've got a little house to live in, but you can use those as a stamp as, state, as Tracy is just sticking them on the lid. And mm -hmm. it's, it's just, gel printing is just meditation for me. I mean, I, I do it every day whether I have uh, an assignment or not, it's like my de-stress and uh, almost like a, a warm up so that, you know, I let loose. And what I love about gel printing is, is that it's so unpredictable. And when you are a bit of a, a control freak, which I am trying not to be and a perfectionist, you have this process of gel printing where it's unpredictable and you can't control it so that to me is almost like uh freedom so yeah i think if i had to pick it would be the minis tracy but i'm i'm a bit traumatized for having to pick one of them so tanya talk about you too tanya has a way of taking the minis i don't know how to describe this and maybe i'll get this wrong i don't have that eye where she takes the minis and puts them in like she just positions them over and over and over and over and over again. And all of a sudden you have this beautiful textile, what looks like fabric. I, I know I'm describing that wrong, but you are dead on where you're putting these things to create this pattern. So <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, well, the thing is, Tracy, if you look close enough, they are not dead on. <laughs> and when you see the whole thing, then it just flows seamlessly. I'm, I'm telling you, it's far from perfect because I see it. 
Yeah, they look the perfect. Time, <laughs> but do. at the same time, like I, I always mm -hmm. share on my social media is, is that, you know, perfection is overrated mm -hmm. and uh, that you need to let go of that idea that you're going to get a perfect print every time. And mm -hmm. like for one, that one perfect print, I have a giant pile that did not work. So we just need to let go of that idea that, you know, uh, it's going to look absolutely perfect. But I also have to admit that I used to teach block printing. <laughs> well, wait a minute. That secret just came out. <laughs> so there so is a bit I, of teaching that goes into it because I don't, maybe I should just keep going, but I don't get the same effect. I, I, I'm close, but you're amazing. It's, it's practice. And I would say, I would mm -hmm. also say um, pageant making is in my blood because I was born and raised in Pakistan. So um, where I, I've just grown up unafraid of color and pattern. And I'll mm -hmm. just try anything out. And I, I think you just need to let go and just enjoy their process and just go for it. And and trust me, if you pay close attention to my prints, they're not perfect. I'm gonna slow that down. I'm just very, very self-critical <laughs> I'm gonna slow the next one down and I'm gonna send it to you and I'm like, oh, this one could have gone one eighth of an inch. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, question was asked and I didn't, we didn't talk about this beforehand. Do you have artwork there that you can share and hold up for us? I hate to put you on the spot since we didn't talk about that. <laughs> She's um, looking. Oh, and I'm gonna Well, give... maybe this, this might be a fun one to show. Mm -hmm. um, so I've got a, a, a jar. So I think this used to be like for spaghetti bolognese. So I saved the jar uh -huh. and I gel printed on this. So I have a video on how I did this. On What's my the paper? Channel. What paper did you use? Oh, this is printed directly on the gel plate. Oh, I didn't use any paper. Oh my goodness. Okay, it looks like you layered and collaged up maybe a bunch of parchment or deli paper. That looks really cool. That's incredible. So mm -hmm. you re you were actually able to wrap because the um, plates are pliable. You can wrap it around. Yeah. No, I think, is it painted white first? Did you paint it yes. white first? Mm -hmm. Very cool. Yeah. I remember that. So no. I, yeah. I have my trusty uh, testing plate here. And because the plates are basically really, really squidgy, and mm -hmm. uh, I I love that because I'm such a tactile person, and you could basically just oh. roll it around whatever object you have to transfer your design. That's a really great idea. Yeah, people are asking, did you use gesso on it first or white paint? Uh, I used gesso on it first, but that was a mistake because I was finding that the gesso was peeling off during oh. the process. So it might be better to use uh, uh, a paint almost like a tempura. Yeah, and also surface. De like Deco Art makes um, glass paint that is chalk that works really well mm -hmm. and it's intended yeah. for glass um, as well, I know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So something mm -hmm. like that uh, you could put on. You don't have to. Uh, you could leave it uh, translucent if you wanted. But I sort of wanted the uh, stencils to show up. So all the stencils that you see on here are yeah. all jelly art. Mm -hmm. So you've got mm -hmm. the ladder there and then you've got oh, the right. flower one there. So and cool. Then the other flower yeah. one. Mm -hmm. That's getting a lot of love. And, and um, some of the mini foams uh, texture there as well. Mancy mm -hmm. just shared. On this. Oh, yeah. Mancy just oh, shared the no. link. Oh, what mm -hmm. a great idea with a bottle. I know. I love that. Okay, well, that's yeah, another I was, one. I was really surprised how much people loved it. <laughs> It's because it's unique and you're giving people like you give so many ideas to unique surfaces that something that our design team does incredibly well is if you think 
that it's just meant to make a print and you're done. I mean, um, textile printing, fabric printing, what are your favorite surfaces to print on? Um, well, if, if, it's, if it stays still for long enough, I'll print on it. <laughs> uh oh! Is your I I don't I I mean are the people around you afraid and they just keep moving so you don't start printing on them the cat I know you have a cat too. <laughs> Tell you what I often have thoughts wondering what her paw print would look like as a gel print. <laughs> Yeah, do you, I mean, um, what are the surfaces that you have printed on? If you can name just a few. Um, well, uh, I've printed on glass. I've printed on wood as well. Um, I've printed on acetate. I do a lot of work with a company called Graphics. This is on wood. This oh, that's is like a, a wood veneer that I have printed cool. on. That's so and, cool. Uh, so there's there's a company called Graphics. They do a line called Duralar. Um, there's synthetic papers. I absolutely love printing on those. You can print on shrink plastic as well and make your own mm -hmm. earrings. Uh, do I have them here? I might have them here. So I'll, uh, I'll dig them up and I'll show them to you. Um, fabric, I love uh, printing on fabric. Um, but most of the time it'll be on paper and then the paper will get turned into something like a card or an art journal or something. Mm -hmm. Or a TikTok or, or a real video, an Instagram video. <laughs> <laughs> See, I follow. She also has a ton yeah. of um, like motivational things. So I'm always looking and I'm just, I'm always, you know, like, oh, that feels good. That looks good. And she shares a lot. I <laughs> that. Okay. Now you, we talked about what you print on. What do you print with? What mediums do you like to work with? Um, my favorite are um, definitely the acrylic paints. Because um, if you look under the heading of acrylic paints, that's kind of cheating because there's so many different kinds. You get acrylic inks as well. And then you have fluid and soft body and heavy body. Mm -hmm. And you mm -hmm. have chalk paints as well. So I'll, I'll cheat and I'll say acrylic paints. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big family. But I also see you use a lot of inks, stamp pads. Yes. And I know, um, mm -hmm. I believe, I, Madison, I'm hoping can share this. You, um, I, I want to talk to you about where people can follow you. I know that you provided a freebie. Um, a link that can be provided. So tell us about that and maybe, well, since I'm surprising Madison, she can go share that link. <laughs> um, well, uh, what, what I've been doing over the past couple of weeks was because I've been printing so much and uh, because of the March challenge, um, I have a lot of stuff that I've, I, I can share and repurpose. So what I did was that over on social media, I've been sharing different ways on how you can uh, get texture on your gel plates, things that you can make with your gel plates and uh, surfaces that you can use and things like that. So what I did was I, I made a little uh, download. Whoa. I don't know if uh, this is pretty what uh, if, if this is reversed or not but it's basically nope. a little workbook that i need and, that is handy uh it has because i'm a very visual person and mm -hmm. uh i like making lists so <laughs> i make a lot of this and <laughs> uh so i thought that I've, I've put together some inspiration for you guys and some ideas with some photographs of some of my prints and then some space down here uh, so that you can jot down your own ideas. And so there's there's one for texture, there's one for different mediums that you can use on a gel plate. Um, there's one for uh, different surfaces that you can work on. 
and then there's one for inspiration or things that you can uh, make with uh, gel plates. Mm -hmm. So I've got stuff like uh, you can make flowers with a gel plate as well. Oh, so I'm I'm hoping mm -hmm. to do. Mm -hmm. th there's a that. video of how I made this on my uh, on my YouTube channel. But mm -hmm. uh, one of these is I'm hoping to do a live uh, on how I I did these because there was yeah people really loved how, how this was made. So this is made of deli paper. Oh, mm -hmm. that's that, so beautiful. That is so cool. Mm -hmm. So if you if you want to do what I would suggest is you can download this and then go on a little treasure hunt on the Jelly Arts blog and collect ideas so that sometimes I find that, you know, you're, you're using the same things over and over again. And uh, if you have like a list or something to go over, because there is so much content on the Jelly Arts blog. It's no. absolutely amazing. And the team is so talented. It's hard to keep track of all the ideas. <laughs> so if you're True. a compulsive list maker like me, I see Tracy's a greeting because yeah. she's a fellow planner like I am. Yeah, everything. <laughs> I got a list everywhere. <laughs> so if you have something like this, then maybe you could use it to keep track of all of your ideas. I love that. I love that you shared that. It's very wow. generous that you did share that. She sent that link to us yes. yesterday. So that and that really has given you see people are signing up. Yeah. That um that also has given like life and birth to the challenges that we are doing, like that we did in March. You mentioned that. And we have uh two more coming up. We're gonna do a week long one in May and then July we have another one, which the team doesn't know about, which will spring on them in a little while. <laughs> so we need Tanya, to give them a little break. I know, I know. I feel like all the time I'm like, it's me again. Um so <laughs> anything else you would like to share, maybe that you have going on, Tanya. Um you can make uh talk about your Instagram link again and your Facebook page because we did um, get somebody ask if you're on Facebook too. Yeah, I am. If you look for uh, Tanya Ahmed, Tanya Ahmed Creative, um, you will find me. But I think uh, someone did share my Facebook page as well. But if you uh, are interested in the short videos, then I would suggest following me on Instagram. So my handle is at Tanya Ahmed. And uh, I'm at the moment, you can't uh, reshare the reels onto Facebook at the moment, unfortunately. So that's what I'm focusing on these days because uh, the idea is I want to make gel printing as easily accessible to everyone. And, and I always say that I'm not a trained artist, that if I can figure things out, then anyone can. So my aim is to make uh, things as easily accessible as possible. Mm -hmm. I love that. I say yes, that. Yes, I love that. Yes, yes. So mm -hmm. Tanya, I want to thank you for taking this time and um, joining mm -hmm. us. I, I I love personally. I love getting to know and talk to everybody. And we don't get to do that as much as face to face. Luann used to be able to go to no. trade shows. <laughs> I know. I miss that. I miss that very much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I, if there's any other questions, the one other thing I do want to say before we leave is. Go to our YouTube channel if you're ever missing a moment of creativity and just randomly spin the wheel and just land on a video because um, when I'm stuck, you know, and I do Facebook Lives, I will go there and literally just like recreate the wheel in my own way. But that, our blog and our Facebook or our YouTube channel has so much content on it. Well, I was going to say they can go to the Jelly Arts blog and look under artists and look for Tanya. You can go right to her page and you can see all of her amazing videos and blogs. So you should check that out. And then Tanya, you should tell them about your upcoming class at Michael's, right? 
Are you coming up on? Oh, April? yes. Yes, I. Yes, I am yeah. doing a class with Michaels. I, I believe it's on the 3rd of May. And uh, Madison mm -hmm. will share the link to it if you want. It's an absolutely free class. Mm -hmm. And uh, what I'm going to be sharing is uh, how to make your own uh, shrink plastic earrings. Yes. Yeah. I know, I, I can't wait. <laughs> That is a good one. And um, we'll wait a second. Madison will give that link and um, just so you guys can sign up. Uh, Jelly Arts now is two times a month on Michael's. Oh, there they are. Look at how cute they are. Oh, look at those. Oh, those are so pretty. They would go perfect with this outfit I have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that is making, no, that's what's when, when in doubt, go for red. I love that. Oh, I love those. Yeah. I'm watching. I'm signing up for that one. <laughs> I think, Luann, aren't you automatically in? <laughs> <laughs> Luann, don't you have to be there? Don't you have to be there? <laughs> I couldn't do it without you. Yes, but I, I, that one I'm really excited about. Yes. And good. Madison just gave um, your link um, from the Jelly Arts page. So for those of you who are looking for uh, inspiration from Tanya, you can go right to see her on our blog. Yeah. Well, girls, yeah. um, the Internet gods were very good to us. From the UK to Philadelphia to California, I can't yeah. thank you guys enough for doing this. I'm always a little nervous, but it worked. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Tanya. Oh, I'm so glad this worked. It's so great to see you. I believe next month we'll be meeting Mansi. I I believe. Okay, Tanya and Luann, okay. thank you so much. Thank you, everybody, for joining all of us. We do love the questions. We'll we go through the questions even before we're live. So we thank you guys. Um, people are saying thank you. Fun meeting you all. And, uh, oh, and uh, Madison just gave the, uh, oh, you do have to get a reservation into the Michael Zoom classes so you can go to their website. And Mansi just confirmed, yes, she will be on next month. Yes, she will answer all these lovely questions that I put everybody on the spot and share her artwork. And just so you all know, Mansi has a new um, studio. Just moved back into her home. Um, so maybe she can just pan around a little bit. We'll put her on the spot for that. <laughs> Give her a little warning there. It's got a month warning. Okay, girls, we're going to sign off. Uh, all right. And I will see you guys Bye. all soon. Thank you so much for joining today. Thank Thanks, you, Tracy. Thanks. Thanks, Tanya.